While I was trying to de definitively <laughs> put an end to the argument of whether or not Grey Worm has a dick, hmm. Game of Thrones question of the week. I accidentally found a photograph of someone who has their had their dick and balls cut off. I'm gonna ask about that. Hold on, I'm gonna look. Is it just a hole? It's not good. This. It's like a pouch. Incognito. Oh. It's like a. It looked like a pouch. Unic. It looked like someone had a scrotum. Picture. <laughs> that was just sewn together with a tiny little hole at the end. I mean, I didn't look for the hole. I saw it. And I was, ah! And I closed it. Wait. But it looked like there was like basically no te no There's no dick. Oh, that's just fine. a scrotum. Yeah, that's okay. There's a little boy up here. That's all right. There's a little boy. I'm curious of what a dick with no balls looks like. Because that must it's only perfect. It's yeah, it's like sheen. It's yeah. slick. The only thing, the only no thing complication. keeping the, That's my the penis name. from looking, <laughs> looking as perfect. good as it can be is the fact that it has balls there. I agree. Oh. And a foreskin. There's I'm a no foreskin kind of guy. Just aesthetically. There, huh? I don't like Ooh. the turtleneck. I think no, I no one ever goes, that's a beautiful balls. penis. Ah, right, you get some Botox down there. I don't like a purple tip. What the fuck? It should be flesh colored. You don't like black dick? I like I like a marble porcelain penis. You know, marble and porcelain are two different materials, Lawrence. I was <laughs> just appealing to the color So spectrum. good to have him back. Yeah, that's the era I wanted him. <laughs> actually. Joel just um actually me about a dick. And I'd like to thank Blue Apron for sponsoring this episode. There you go, that's what I was looking for. about that from the other show. Oh, hey, your first question this week comes from Rayalos 15 something with DuckTales. Hey, Arnold and Rocco's Modern Life coming back. What other 90s cartoon do you want to return? I would say Mighty Max, but it had the perfect ending. Yeah. I don't think you can top that. Mighty so. Max is the perfect show. We don't I just like to think oh, about Mighty it. Mighty Max was awesome. You can still bring it back, but no. what would be, it would be an app now. Oh, yeah, instead of a hat. Game. Yeah. He has a super app. I don't know Mighty Max at all. You don't know Mighty you Max? Know Ma I am a foul. That classic Mighty Max. Oh, that did it! Yeah, Nailed it! it. Oh, no yeah. one knows. Totally <laughs> Mighty Max. Why? He ran around with a big dude in a owl. What was it no, on? He, he, he was a fowl. They call him a chicken, and he goes, "Who was he?" I only have. He was this cool was kid. I don't he was channel? a cool kid whose name remember. was Max, and he had a hat that opened portals through time and space, and he could go help people solve their problems with the help of a large barbarian named Norman. Norman. Yeah. Wow. And then a I watched the show. third I man I named Fowl. Uh, Virgil. Virgil. Oh my <laughs> kid. Wow, you're a big nerd. I just knew because well, it was. The beautiful time in the 90s when the cartoons were just there they were basically 30 minute commercials mm -hmm. for the toys which are the little pocket things you open up there were boys <laughs> toys there were poly pockets it was poly pocket. and, anyway and maddie mac mad Ma maddie max was a poly pocket for boys yeah, yeah. Kind of, but they yeah. turned it into a cartoon that's actually really good it wasn't bad i think we should bring back teddy ruxpin well, only okay. because Teddy Ruxpin they had that cool. He was the robot, right? Yeah. The robot that you could buy that so its eyes would, would his close and it would, and it would move. He was a pre Furby Furby. He was a pre Furby Furby, but I feel like with uh, robotic technologies these days, we, Teddy Ruxpin would be way, way cooler. Oh, he like could, Osimo. He could walk around <laughs> and possibly you might be able to carve a hole in him. Well, I feel like you'd put your fidget spinner in Teddy Ruxpin now and he'd, he'd spin it around. Yeah. No, you just put a hole in him so that you could put batteries in him, Joel. And then you could hey, have a fidget spinner and he's only for kids. I never did that to a stuffed animal. <laughs> Mine's kind of borderline 80s, 90s, um, but I've been on a real Heathcliff kick. Mm. Um, I think we need to bring those junkyard cats back just because <laughs> ever since I've been thinking about her, that that female cat from that show. Nermal? She was banging. That's Garfield. Also, uh, Nermal's a boy. Yeah, Nermal's yeah. definitely a boy. What? Is it worse for Bruce to have jerked off uh, to Nermal, Nermal being a boy no, or Nermal I, just being a cat? Did I cut a hole in that Nermal stuffed animal? Yeah. <laughs> That's where my cassette no. was going to go. Bruce in court, has just, his defense, he was confuzzled, Your Honor. <laughs> I mean, look at him. That's furry jargon for confused. <laughs> anyway, we plead guilty. <laughs> <laughs> James, you got really upset because you thought that people, you think uh, people think that uh, Garfield came before Heathcliff. That's not true. Heathcliff right? was first. Heathcliff was first. What about Fritz the Cat? I didn't know that. That's what that was way first. He well, loved actually no, Garfield. Was he, was a, he was a comic before he was a cartoon. Yeah. 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 But I don't he know was the what the original bad attitude. No one cat. cares about Heathcliff. We care about that banging hot cat. Uh, I'm somewhere between Street Sharks and Pro Stars. What was Pro Stars? Pro Stars was a beautiful show with Wayne Gretzky. Bo oh, Jackson. Yeah. I do remember Michael this. Jordan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Can it be them again? Well, if we bring it back? I think we bring it back. But now, <laughs> they're all 70 years old. Good news, everyone. OJ's free. Oh, yeah. Oh, pro one stars. of the greatest Great. sports athletes of all time joins the pro stars. We could get OJ. Allen Iverson. <laughs> we we could get Ray Lewis. He's yeah. a murderer. We could yeah. get. Uh, um, who else? Mike Tyson. He beat the Ooh, shit out of women. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Most yeah. of the Patriots are rapists. Get Lance them in Armstrong. There. 
Sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Good old one ball. Does <laughs> anybody else? Uh, Elise, have you answered? Yeah. Uh, either Darkwing Duck or Gargoyles. Mm. Um, oh, or picks. a crossover between those two because they're both dark, grittier. Darkwing Duck. Dark door, dark oil duck. Dirt, 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 dirt. Uh, if you're listening, uh, Joel Rubin, television writer, maybe. Uh... <laughs> Come on, Joel, what's your answer? What's the cartoon you're bringing back? I'm gonna bring back Anastasia. Um, that was a movie. Though. The mo it's a cartoon. He's right. Technically, he's right. I mean, sort okay, of. Okay, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Joel's you can have manipulating the question again. <laughs> <laughs> All of my animated shows that I want to bring back from the 90s are already coming back. Animaniacs is coming back. I, uh, I think they're doing a limited... Oh, they're doing DuckTales again. So I have to bring back something with music. So I'm going to bring back Anastasia, and it'll be Anastasia 2, where she goes into Soviet the Soviet Union, and she has a czarist uprising and reinstates the monarchy through song. I thought it was going to be Anastasia 2, the true story, where she's a little girl and she dies right away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because that's what happened. The next question from Arcadius256. You get to completely reinvent your online persona and preferred shtick. What are you known for now? What am I known for now? You're known <laughs> for your, you love wine and uh, and your um actuallys. You're like ox feathered sweaters and what have you. Your man bun. Hips that won't quit. Then I'm gonna reinvent myself as internet's bad boy. All right. <laughs> Joel Rubin, internet's reinvent bad yourself. Boy. How do you leather. Do? All leather. Yeah, leather how do you studs. Do I, I'm, gonna, I'm head to toe in leather. <laughs> Sit in every chair backwards all the time. <laughs> 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 what, uh, what, what like what like badass car do you drive? Yeah, what else do you do? <laughs> I'm gonna drive, it'd still be a Prius, but it's <laughs> <laughs> But I'm gonna get flame decals. Oh shit. Oh, and wow. what I do online is uh I do sick wine pranks. <laughs> oh, oh, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, that's actually gotcha. That was a rosé. Yeah. Uh, you thought you were drinking Beaujolais Nouveau? Maybe that's a Pinot. Yeah, he, he thought that was a, 19, a 1972. It was in fact a, a 76. Well, that cheese pairing doesn't actually go with that. Oh, oh wow. I don't want to reinvent myself at all. I just want to be part of his ensemble. <laughs> yeah, basically, I was. I I'm I'm already a bit of an internet tough guy, so I'd have to give that up. Yeah. I'll be Joel's uh, right hand man. So he'll have me on a chain. I'll be on all fours, and he'll just lead me around, and I'll back him up with all of his pranks and stuff. He pours wine into a little dog bowl for yeah. you. Yeah. Occasionally, he might like pop off my little my little face mask and let me drink some water or wine or something like yeah, that. Joel's a badass. There was a guy who had a job where he poured wine in his, in his urethra, and you go to rich people's parties and pour it out of his dick into people's cups. He ended up getting a UTI from that. Did you get that UTI sorted out? I got it. For it <laughs> <laughs> Separate question. Are you still available? <laughs> uh, weekends, but call me. I only work for bad boys. I'd want to. I wish I had, knew more about cars, so I want to be like the mechanic of the group. Like I do. I do car videos, and Joel could bring in his Prius, <laughs> and I'd help him work on it. And I'd be in just like you just soup it up. For I'd me? just be in overalls with one large wrench. Uh -huh. You know, and I just look like, you know, like, what's the problem with your car, Joel? And he'd tell me he'd come up with his leather, <laughs> leather gloves, and he'd fine. Then I'll be the Native American guy. <laughs> Reinvent, Bruce. We'll turn, we're turning to the vill the village people. Joel, you already have the head me. Yeah. <laughs> if James is in overalls with one large wrench, he is bringing back another '90s cartoon. Your gadget from. Uh, Rescue Rangers, oh, that's true. which is another one of my high school, uh, middle school, high, elementary school crushes. I didn't cut a hole in that stuffed animal. Booty hole 96. <laughs> All right, <laughs> keep going, e keep going. Eating ass and cuckolding have become mainstream recently. That's true, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, if you were to popularize a sex act, what would it be? Rusty tromboning. What's that? You're eating ass, but you're also giving a hand job. Yeah. That's just nothing. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Okay. You're it's discourteous it. if you don't. Give a hand job yeah, while you're eating ass. Yeah, exactly. That's Dever Gore. Well, no, as a man, I can't give a hand job while eating ass. Yes, you could. What are you talking true. about? Put you your, your nose could. in the butt and then this. Look. I mean, yeah. that's all it takes. You can't do that to a female, though, unless you put a strap on her. No, no on. of course, she doesn't have a dick. What does this look like? <laughs> now do it. Yeah, I'm trying there to you go. I mean, it. the trombone makes sense, kind of, except you play a trombone like this. You can do this, though. Like, gutter cleaner? <laughs> Ew. What is this? What is that? A Pez dispenser? Is this an instrument? Is this a tuba? Is this how you play a tuba? Do you have rickets? It's like... <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, because you're... Oh, okay. I don't know. But you don't want to go... You want to go... It would be like this. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to close your eyes, too. My... My answer is um, is reverse 69. People are facing out. Here, you, Adam, lay down. Oh, oh boy. I answer you here, right. and then I grab your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! 
I think I understand. So then, like, like you can reach back and like massage my ankles. Oh, <laughs> that sounds nice. Uh, much like James and Adams Reverse Sixty Nine, uh, <laughs> I would say mine. there is a video I just recently saw. This is a real thing, where. Uh, a, a man gets spit roasted by two women. Whoa! So it's cool. really cool. So here's what happened. It goes in his mouth. Uh, Hold on. You'll find out. So what he does is he lays down with his stomach facing, uh, just flat with his stomach down, and his mouth is in a vagina, and then he's fucking another woman who's on the on the back side of this. So she's up. So basically his dick is backwards Ooh. into a vagina as he's eating another girl up. But then it's called spit roasting. Well, I mean it's, like... It doesn't seem like it's spit roasting If you can't, if you can't suspend, suspend them. Yeah. Well, it's no, not, you can't suspend them, obviously. We have to figure out a way is. to make them suspend. So what about a double-sided dildo? The man is sucking off the a dildo, dildo while the dildo's in her. Oh, and I see, And then that yeah. holds her up, and then he has to use the, the wedge from his penis in the other vagina to keep himself up. Cirque du Soleil? Hello? <laughs> You've been watching the show! It's this for is you. full! <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, really? Uh, as usual, Japan is ahead of everyone in this regard. Um, I, th I had to look it up. O oh. Oculolinctus. It's uh, also known as worming or eyeball licking fetishism. Uh, that's where you lick a girl's eyeball. So let's let's just bring that in. The good news is you can do it wherever you want. It's not illegal. Uh, can, you, so, can you come from that? Yep. You got to push the tongue in there. Blech. Josh Hartnett did it with like a feather. Hollywood homicide. Oh, Elise. Uh, Adam touched on it earlier, but I guess uh, putting wine up your dick and peeing on somebody. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Popularize that. Kind of that. is mainstream, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joel, what do you do in your house every day? I want to repopularize, uh, just holding hands for Jesus. I think that <laughs> it's real sexy. It's not a sex act. You don't even believe in Hold Jesus. On. He hasn't described it yet. Oh, Slow that's true. Yeah. So what you do is you get a cross and you nail oh. the girl to the cross. Oh! You you have her grab your ankles from above. So she's she's holding her hands are holding. Hold on, grab her while nailed. And so your head then then you go down on her while you're hanging oh. from her. So she's on the cross. I see. And she's holding your legs and you're hanging down. Are you nailed down, down too? Or no, no. She's, she but that's the holding. Down. That's the holding hands for Jesus. So, but two people are getting nailed on this cross, if you think about it. Hello! No, just one person's getting nailed twice, at least. Oh. Actually. Mm. Lawrence, hit it. Well, hey, you could bless somebody's urethra, and then they'd piss out the transmuted blood of Jesus Christ. Think about that. Next question, Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> Nabs Pro writes, a funhouse can't create their own fear factor challenge, what would it be? We log into YouTube and see YouTube revenues declining slowly month over Ooh, month. Jeez, that is a fear factor challenge. <laughs> Man, that's really scary. I was gonna be the holding hands for Jesus thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to do that at all. I think you get most people to just quit. God. I know the show was really, basically every episode somebody had to eat some balls. So I figured, how many balls could someone eat all in one sitting? And how many animals would we have to castrate in order to get them to eat all those balls? So it would be sheep balls. Bull balls, cow balls, goat balls. So this is just the number of balls that they have to Hold eat? Hold on, yeah, how many other balls are there? What other Bison what are balls. Bison balls, dolphin balls. What other things have balls? Do you think dog that- balls. Dog balls. <laughs> eating multiple balls. different kinds of balls in one sitting would be worse than eating a whole bowl of similar balls? Would you appreciate the variety or do you think they'd clash? But you want one type of ball. Yeah, I would I think, think so. Because if you get the multiple balls and then it starts to taste a lot like, like you know, like the chicken okay. balls. I was actually going to go with a testicle related challenge as well. Okay, what is that? It's a ball pit. Um, but it's the ball pit where it's just filled with balls. What kind of balls? Goat balls, bison balls, bull balls, balls, kangaroo balls. You better believe those balls are in there. I think we have a room that has three doors in it and you have to choose which door that you open. And behind the first door, uh, Bruce will be farting. He'll be farting at you. That's scary. Behind the second door, uh, Adam <laughs> will pee at you with the wine he has Oof. up his urethra. Ugh. And if you open the third door, uh, Joel nails you to a cross. Oh no, those are all terrible. <laughs> yeah, they're all terrible options, but you have to, you have to kind of decide what the, the you know uh, best of the worst is. Do you know what's behind each door before you open the door? Uh, no. Where were the balls? Does anybody else have a fear factor challenge? Uh, I like the idea of putting duct tape over your mouth and then you have to wash that one homeless guy that's always on the metro that by Joel's house. You just wash a homeless guy? Yeah, but you have to have duct tape on your mouth so you have to smell him. Oh. I would rather breathe through my nose. I feel like when I breathe through my mouth, you can then taste it. As That's opposed how I to feel smelling. too. Thank you, Elise. She gets it. Uh, Elise. That's from Metal Merce. Funhouse is now at the center of a massive controversy. What is the subject of this controversy and how will it affect everyone at the office? What are the, what's the controversy that we're at the center of? Worldwide ball shortage? Worldwide. We're out of balls. We're out of balls. The world is short on balls because we are brought back 
fear factor. Oh, because we're all everybody's eating those balls. And most of our challenges are ball related. And all the challenges <laughs> are ball related. Okay. So now people can't reproduce because we used all the balls oh, for fear factor. It's like reverse handmaid's tale. It's like reverse handmaid's tale. That'll affect me because I'm supposed to go on Fear Factor and eat all those balls. You're the ball guy. But I, I'm the ball guy. That's usually what yeah. I do every episode. I've got no problem with it. But now I can't because there's no more balls. Mm -hmm. And I'm super upset. And I'm trying to eat other people's balls, but they're attached to their bodies and other How animal do you bodies. Do that? Yeah. No, you can't do that. You have yeah. to cut them off first. Joel's got to go explain to corporate where the, all the balls went. I have, uh, I, I put together this deck overnight, you guys. Uh, so what we need to do is produce synthetic balls. And so I get corporate to fund a genetic uh, lab that only creates uh, tube te test tube grown testicles. I call them test tubicles. <laughs> <laughs> That's really clever, actually. That's really clever. I wanna, can oh. I take four? Wait, continue controversy though. They're made in Vietnam <gasps> by nine-year-olds. Oh, oh no. no! Not the test tubicles. And that's too old in Vietnam. Man. <laughs> So we can't do the Vietnam testes. No. Nope. So I've got to use my master of disguise abilities and impressions to pretend to be a cool dude with testicles. All right, hit it, Elise. Hey, does anybody have some ointment for my balls? Whoa! Where did Elise go? We got to find some ball ointment for this dude real quick. <laughs> Let me need to hire here. a female. Oh my god. I was gonna say, well, the biggest problem is that while this controversy is unfolding, um, Adam's wine piss business is yeah. falling because he can't do Cut, that anymore. No People storage. see the balls, they're not focused on the art. <laughs> well, and you store, yeah, you store the wine in the balls and in order, out of solidarity, Adam donated his balls to Fear Factor. Oh, oh no. yeah, yeah. So you can't store as much wine, so take, you can barely fill a glass. Right. So now where does he store the wine? He doesn't. That's the problem. It's yeah. just only it's in a room. So he goes to the party and he out a like half a glass, and they go, that's it. Oh. Yeah. And they go, I never. Yeah. <laughs> this party is ruined. <laughs> I didn't pay $14 for this. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bad deal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, these, this has really put me in real hot water with my ball guy. Because, uh, you know, I been doing a lot of the back behind the scenes work securing those ball production lines uh, had a dude it seemed like a windfall at first he was so happy to move all those balls but now that the synth synth test tubicles are in the market he's getting undercut by synth balls mm. he didn't expect this to happen let mm -hmm. me tell you controversy is it, yeah so he's he's kind of he's holding it against me that all his partners are getting synth so balls you gotta now. give him a blowjob yeah <laughs> <laughs> what why where did that why why did you have to give him a blowjob because he's pissed every good story ends in a blowjob well there's a lot, one last question Joel has to read it elder wang Asks, Funhouse has decided to open their very own dollar store. What sort of items would you sell for a dollar? There's a there's one thing that I feel like you should, you don't need to pay top dollar for, um, and it's condoms. You should be, you should be. <laughs> that's a good answer. Condom, condoms what? and batteries. Yeah, yeah, what? That's a good answer. Condoms just, should be cheap. It's like wadded up paper in a bag. They should be affordable for everybody. Uh -huh. Yeah. And everybody needs to go to the dollar store. So my dollar store would just be condoms. It would just all be condoms. You don't buy anything else there other than condoms. Do you have used condoms at your store that you could buy for even Those cheaper than a dollar? Cents. Fifty cents. Whoa, so half off sale. Fifty cents on the dollar for wow. the used condoms. Uh, we wash them out though, so you just flap them out back. They're clean. <laughs> Hang them up for a minute. And the only time I've ever really get, been gotten by something at a dollar store was when I went in and they were selling like VHS tapes for old shows that's that a great deal. are not anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's a great deal. So I once bought a VHS tape for like Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. It's like a Christmas special. Like old Christmas specials, Speaking things that used to be on shows. TV that aren't. Yeah. I'd sell VHS tapes that's for a dollar. It's a good wow. deal. I mean, really honestly, it's a good deal. That's a really uh, good I'd exclusively do Funhouse merch. So mostly like Milady shirts mm, and gonna, uh, as expected shirts. You're gonna knock up the price on those, huh? <laughs> Yeah, got one of these. Is a, that's got a pretty a big lot of these in circulation either. I, I feel like profit margin. It's more special when you find it at the dollar store <laughs> instead of uh, at the Goodwill. Goodwill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd sell uh, milk, just dollar, in in various containers, various kinds of milk. Oh, yeah, but you know, just out on the out on the shelves. Is it expired? It's still good. Uh, it's a dollar. What okay. do you want? Right. Oh, there's no expiration that's date valid. on it? Nah. That's valid. Says I mean, question mark. Some of it's used. People bring it in. I just I sell and I Mystery trade Mystery milk! <laughs> Mystery milk. <laughs> that's what we'll call it! <laughs> Mystery milk and condoms! Wait, does that include breast milk? Hey, it listen. Be any milk, yeah. If you have a fine wine, you don't need to know every vintage that's in the mix. Yeah. Sometimes there's a blend. Joel knows all about it. Uh, you bet. I'm it's a fine a, milk. That was the old Joel. Mm -mm. <laughs> the new Joel knows about leather. <laughs> <laughs> He's tough! Uh, Elise? I'd sell wallets because the whole thing would be like, you're saving so much money mm. shopping at my dollar store. Makes sense. I, buy some wallets because now you got 
You get so much money you to put in. Need more wallets for all your money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sell I'm selling an idea. That's a self. That's like a self-feeding problem, though. The more wallets you buy, the more money you save, and then you need more wallets to hold all that money. Yeah. You know what you put? In, you know what you put? Wallets. You put wallets. You put condoms in wallets. See? True. There you go. You, you, get, a, you get a condom wallet oh. for a dollar fifty. <laughs> that's a good deal. We'll maybe this we, for a snack maybe on the bus. We, we team up. We make some kind of bundle. Uh, the condom wallet bun bundle. Yeah. The how? What are we gonna call it? That. Oh, wallets that have condoms already. Pre-installed. So wait, so you have to open the wallet to have sex with someone? You buy it. Well, no, you, 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 you use it. One use wallet. Yeah. So oh, once you one open it, wallet. you use the condom. Yeah. You gotta buy a new wallet and to get a new condom. And that way it smells like leather. And every time you fuck, you're saving money. Is the condom embedded in the is the wallet the actual yes. you have to destroy yeah, the, the wallet? The it's like a piggy bank. We call it a wandom. Yeah. But then sometimes Con there's a missed wallet. <laughs> and then there's wallets inside of the condoms. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. You know what? I don't buy at dollar stores this food. Stuck up. Wow. <laughs> It'd be a terrible deal if you were to do that. If I were to eat food, I'd probably get it from Blue Apron. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'd probably get it from Blue Apron. Nice job, Liz. Nice job. Blue Apron is the number one fresh ingredient and recipe delivery service in the country that makes incredible and fresh home cooking accessible to everyone. Uh, Blue Apron partnered with a ton of local farms to ensure that your food is sustainably sourced, responsibly raised, and they only provide the amount of each ingredient that you need so nothing goes to waste. That actually seems like a small detail, but it's actually very important and it makes me feel good as a human being. Um, a couple of the upcoming meals for this month include what, Adam? I uh, got the basil pesto chicken, and summer vegetable, oh my god, panzanella. I don't know why you wouldn't be into that, but if you aren't, they also have what else, Lawrence? Sauteed shrimp and green beans with globe tomatoes, spinach, and orzo pasta. What the hell is a globe tomato? It's a specialty summer ingredient. All right. It's very crisp and, and very firm. I enjoy it. Elise, what about what's next for you? Whole grain pasta and summer vegetables with heirloom tomato caprese salad, James. Mmm. Joel? <laughs> Miso butter salmon and lo mein noodles with cucumber and charmed tomatoes. Bruce, how about one last item? What, what do you like to eat from Blue Apron? Oh, I want some meat of pizza with a fresh mozzarella cheese and a charmed tomatoes. We got globe tomatoes, charmed tomatoes, mm. and then that. Um, it's high quality meals for under $10 a person. That's that's way less than what you're gonna be playing, paying at the restaurant, but you're gonna get food that's just as good. Blue Apron is affordable, flexible, easy, and guaranteed. So go ahead and check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash open house. That's H-A-U-S. You will love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home cooked meals with Blue Apron. So don't wait. That's blueapron.com slash open house. Blue Apron is a better way to cook. Do you think they'll ever sell Lawrence's milk in the Blue Apron <laughs> uh, meals? Man, I, I don't know that I have the distribution chains, but I'd love to talk with them about it. Yeah, you should. They yeah, do yeah. offer uh, wine pairings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so, milk, pairings? Uh, milk pairings? Milk pairings for all your meals. Milk and wine, milk and wine pairings. You want some dick wine and some milk? <laughs> I'm hung up on what power moves are, but it's I It's like guess... a gorilla press slam. Yeah, it's okay. like you're, you're dominating them. Yeah. You're well, basically saying they should stay away. Not like a submission. I you mean, have the power. You could just fart a lot. I don't think she'll want to come around for that. What happens if she loves farts? That's a rare beauty then. You, you, no, I don't know. Am I sensing some personal experience?